Alright, never mind, we're making a clip. Alright, so we got the blade all beautifully sharpened out. I uh, got the point here, hold on. Yeah, we got the point here, and we got the failed handle right here. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, uh, I, I did the measurements, uh, and it turns out if I cut off this bit right here, it should be a perfect size for one of those basket-hilted claymores. Alright, so let's... Alright, let's go. Alright, we're good. Alright, so the saw I'm using as a... As a uh, model is this sort of right here. Hold on, let's see if we can get this focus. Yeah, this one right here. It's the one I'm following. Yep, and it's from Scotland. Scotland, yeah, it's got the basket hilt. It's very fancy. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so this entire blade is perfect, perfect size for that uh, measure of doubt and everything. Okay, so this part will be the pommel right there, and I need to mark out the section for the, for the, for the, for the blade. Yeah. Alright, let's see. So we got our little ruler here. Is it even focused? Okay, can't see him. Okay, so uh, we need to mark a blade here, so I'm thinking, let's see, this is the pommel. Let's leave all this space for the pommel. I can only stick out a bit more. Uh, let's see how much is this one. Barely fitting. Let's make it... Let's mark it, mark it... Okay, how about... Four to five... Five inches? From the end? No, 4.5. Alright, we're making it 4.5 inches away. So, let's see here. Got a little thing. Let's see, 4.5. Right here. Right here. And that's a tad bit small. Yeah, that should be good. Just, uh, I, no, never mind. We're making it 5 inches. Okay, at least a tiny. Alright, now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. So I need to move this camera a bit. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. Shrink this down a bit. Oh, oh, oh. don't want it to sink too bad. Oh. There we go. I only sink this a tad bit more, and this should be good. Can see what I'm doing. <sighs> All right, so mark this part out right here. And the mark we just made. Right here. Okay. Oh, well, make sure this doesn't turn off. All right. So this entire part's the. Well, it's gonna be a bit, a bit short. But... Alright, so you want like a little, it's supposed to be like a basket hilt, I'm going to use that strips of, strips of plywood, right, and then you cut those out and draw and you, um, soak it in water. So, let's see, I want to make this about, about an inch, right? No, you don't even need that, okay, I'll figure that out. Basically, this part simply needs to be a bit sanded out, it's a tad bit, and then you put like a little guard over this. And everything else attaches to that, so I'll have to figure that out a bit. Hmm. Oh, no, I already got an idea. We'll have two pieces of wood, does hand guards, and you just smush them together. And then you put in the pods in between those, smush it together. And then you just bend it around to the pommel bit, which will also be smushed together. And then you add like little pommel or a flat piece that this part's for. First, you need to make the handle, which I'm going to use some pulpar wood. Poplar? Poplar. Poplar? I don't know. But Poplar wood. 
and it's gonna be like that, and then it's gonna be a nice circular handle for the nice little pommel bits to sit on, for the handguard bits to sit on. Alright, you got the uh, handle bits marked out here, gonna cut it off so the pommel's actually not gonna exist, I'm gonna stick that on later. But uh, basically, I'm gonna cut these out right now. So. Alright, so right here, we have our really rough cut pieces of poplar wood that are fit to fit this part right here minus uh, this part too. Well, we can't see it. Hold on. Uh, this part too. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna glue it on and then trim away any of the excess. Alright, so I got some Gorilla Glue. Yeah, it's a pretty decent brand. Let's see, you gotta check which way the grain around so you can easily cut it without breaking anything. So this way. Alright, you wanna completely glue this part. Not on the little wood part you're attaching because some of that's gonna be chopped off and you don't want anything to go with it. Oh, so you can smell the glue now. Oh, yeah, yikes. Oh, stick my fingers together. I don't want that to happen yet. Ha, happen yet, but you never know. Alright, gonna do the same thing. Check for the grain. You want the grain to run in a weird direction. I actually have no idea, but... Uh, this one's both are kind of screwed up anyway, so... Uh, it doesn't really matter which side this one's on. Uh, let's do it like this. God, this should be good. Actually, I have no idea where it's supposed to line up, so... Huh, good luck. We'll just have it match up with. We'll just have it match up with the thing behind it. We'll just know. Alright, I'm going to make sure that dries nice and tight. Okay, this all matches up. Uh, we should be good from here. Now what we're going to want to do is uh, trim it down a bit. So, let's go. You just run the blade. This way is cutting off any bits that stick out. We're all going to sand this down a lot later. So I'm not too worried about the exact bits later. Oh, this one's not entirely staying yet. Might want to wait a little. We don't want to shift around and then end up cutting off the wrong bits now, would we? Alright, so it should be good. Meanwhile, let's talk about the how this is gonna work. So basically, once we got this handle down, this actually fits pretty nice around my hand. Uh, once we got this handle down, we'll cut it down, shape it, may, uh, maybe wrap it a bit, make it look nice and fancy, right? And then we gotta take two little Two or four pieces of wood, two per each side. You take them, you layer in a bunch of uh, plywood, you form it around your hand, you have to soak it in water to make it a lot more pliable. Yeah, yeah. Then you flow, uh, nah, we call it, fold it around your hand, you want to bend it, make sure it's not snapping or anything. Uh, maybe try two layers? I actually haven't tried this, I haven't tested this. So if anything goes wrong, it's not really my fault. Actually, it still would be, but, uh, whatever. Do not try at home. Wait for a trained professional to do it first. Why isn't it sticking? Uh, come on. I need to go get the clamps to do this. Oh, it's not even sticking all the way. Oh, very tight glue now. I know why, because half of it wasn't even glued. Okay, let me go get the clamp. Uh, where's the clamp? Okay, honestly, I have no idea what to say. Uh, I'll see you back. Alright, so now we got this to cut down a rough shape. I had to do some fixing here. Some of it broke, but uh, it's not very important anyway. So, 
We got this, and we just sand on a nice little shape right here. Yup, 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 yup. No, oh, it's a very nice sort of claimers. Well, in Scotland they actually have a uh, what do you call it? Blade dance thing where you get like a group of four girls or something. I don't know. To be honest, I haven't done a whole lot of research into it. But basically, they get like a group of four girls. And they have them compete against each other in like a traditional dance around. Oh my god, I'm focusing. Uh, traditional dance around two two cross blades. Uh, that's why it's called sword dance. They're not actually dancing the sword. I was very disappointed when I found out. I was like, oh my god, they gotta do some fancy tricks. Uh, they did not do any fancy tricks. I'm very disappointed to be honest. Come on, come on, focus. Oh, there we go. I was very disappointed. Oh my god. Come now. Alright, we good. Okay, so this part needs to be a tad bit more Alright, we should be good. Alright, so now basically what we're gonna do is just smooth this down using like a little strip of sandpaper. So now that we're gonna sand this down, you basically just go like this. And you do that enough times and it becomes a good handle, so. Alright, so here we got <coughs> the sword handle ruler supply wood. Got another sheet over there. Uh, yeah, so basically we're just gonna all right, measure stuff, stuff out. So basically, my hand's about, how much is this again? Like a space at about three inches long. <clears throat> which will basically act as we make two of those that are for each side. Basically, what happens is the sand, which is each strip in between, with your shape. And uh, yeah, so I'll I'll go about figuring out how that works and all. All right, so now I got the got little straps on for the cup basket hilt all right uh you gotta go make like five of these and uh soak them in water so they become nice and pliable all right so i'll go uh oh yeah i also got the uh this part's been hot glued on this part's been super glued to the hilt this part's still loose so i can stick these bits into there and then wrap it around to here i'm not entirely sure if that'll uh, it'll work out that Alright, so now we got the piece of wood that's been soaking for a while. Five minutes? Ten minutes? I don't know. I wasn't looking at counting. Alright, so basically you want to find the front of your sword. Yeah, right here. You find the front of your sword, and then you clamp it in right here. You want to make sure that it's nice and centered. Try super gluing it on. Honestly, I don't know. But yeah, I'll try it. Add a little dot of super glue and just press it in. Alright, so now that you got that, oh, uh oh, okay. For some easierness, let's just squish it in between. Alright, so now that you squish it in between, you just want to try and hold it as you bend it around. Bend it around nice and gentle. Try not to die. <laughs> oh, please no. Alright. And then you got it. Just like that. Uh, you wanna make sure it stays like that, and I'll be back. With a lot more. Alright, so when you're bending the wood to shape the hilt and stuff, you want to make sure it's nice and plenty of room in there. And you also want to probably use clips too, I got these nice cute panda clips right here. Uh, you want to make sure it's nice and clipped down so it doesn't go anywhere. You don't want it to bend. Uh, well, if it does bend in a direction you don't like, you can always just soak it back in water or straighten it back out and redo it. Alright, <clears throat> so... Don't mind the mess. We got the uh, got the hangar slightly worked out. Yeah, we got this other part shaping now. It came out quite nicely. See, you hold it, you put your hand in, see it covers it quite a lot. 
Uh, I'm probably gonna add like another two strips around here just for a little added. Actually, no, I think this might actually be pretty good. Is add another one here, and then you'll have like this very nice basket hilt. Yeah, I think they usually put like a cloth in here to like show to like cover it for some reason. I don't know. It's just what happened in all the pictures. Probably wrap the handle in like I don't know electrical tape. I don't know. It look pretty nice, but yeah. It's turned out very well. I only got one more strip to go. Home stretch here. All right. Basically, I'm just gonna repeat whatever I did over here. This side over here. So hopefully, if I take these off, nothing. But ah, never mind. All right. So we got both sides secured in. Both sides are good. All right. So now I'm just gonna take more clamps. Just clamp all the extra stuff down that did not make it into the final cut. Very unfortunate, I know. Alright, so we got all the good stuff here. Nice, all of this is nice. Very nice. Put so much effort into this one one. Alright, bend it around once more. Make sure it looks all nice and ready. Oh, my throat. My throat's really weird today. I can barely talk. I think I'm dying. I don't know, man. Alright. <clears throat> I'll go secure this and then I'll report. Alright. <clears throat> now we got the... Most of the hilt down secured by the little... Panda clippies. Now I got this little back cross piece that I'll just slide right into there, if it would focus, come now. Alright, basically it's just going to slide into there, so now I might as well do that. Dab a little hot glue on both sides, only a little bit, don't you know? Alright, slide that in nice and smooth, ouchie, oh my god that hurt. Alright, alright. Get rid of any excess. Oh yes, looking nice. It's really coming together today, don't you know? Let's go. Alright, now you got... Oh, it's looking nice today. Alright, so I don't think we need this clip. Just stick that right here. And now I gotta clean it up all a bit. We have now achieved final form. Come on. Final form, let's go. It's beautiful. We got the uh, basket hilt going on. Oh my god. Lord Jesus. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Yo. Got the entire blood. Oh wait. Yo, let's go. All right. Oh, I'm gonna have some. Fun. So now, now that we got the beautiful, beautiful basket hilt, now we got to do the uh, little cloth thing that goes around the little hilt. All right. So what I'm planning on doing that is cutting up this old T-shirt. Nobody needs this anymore. And then we're gonna find a way to make it into a little cloth bag. So, I'll try cutting out a shape. Alright, so I got this little uh, square fabric, right? Uh, now I'm going to make the edges a lot straighter, make it a lot easier to work with. Alright, so let's do that. Alright. Snip, snip, snip. I don't like working with fabric. It's very, very loose. Very troublesome. If it don't like you, you're screwed. All right, this part's this part's the problem. Very not straight. All right, trim the rest of this away, and we're done. All right, chop that the scraps. We won't be needing those. And now, for what we do next is we fold over the edges twice so none of the fabric fraying happens.
Well, I'm also gonna chop away this little extra hem right here that came with the shirt. So chop, chop, chop. Alright, I got that. Fold them over twice. Actually, get the fancy pins out. There's actually some relatively new soon case, so you get out the fancy pins. Yo. Alright, so then you want to fold these over twice. And then stick in the pins to make sure it's safe. It's secure. Alright, there's one pin. It's the second one. Right here. Alright, now that we got those secure, now we can thread the needle and start start doing stuff. Wait, how do I open this? Oh. Oh no, I think I got it. Alright, alright, now we use some reds. Red string, and now we suffer. Because I hate this so much. Uh, I'm relatively sure there's probably a tool for helping me get in. But I'm too lazy to find it, so whatever. It's probably fine, all right? Where does the string start? Please, I just want to sew. Sewing has become a pure struggle. I think I see the thread through. Okay, please stand by. As I struggle some more. Please, 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 I beg of you, just let me sew something. Alright, we're gonna do some... Alright, I'll thread the needle. Alright, so now we got our, all our, I got our fabric all rolled out, and now we got to install it into the actual handle bits. I'll just prop this against here. Hope it's focused, yep. And now... You find the part that you rolled over and you stick it inside, you want it facing inside, you don't want it facing outside, this is the fancy bits. Alright. So now you basically got something like this, and you can loop the ends over and probably find a way to attach that. So let's see. Take our needle with a very short string, I don't know where that happened. But uh, I don't think that's going to work, so we're going to have to thread a new string, which I hit. I hate it so much. Alright. Oh, never mind. Thought they had it. Come on. Come on now. There we go. Whoops. That's fine, we'll have some little string. Alright, so you take your string, you just line it up, oh well, it's a tad bit late, it's like 10 already, oh my god, it's pretty late around here, the east coast, Very peaceful at night, barely any sounds. Oh, I missed it. Okay, you know what's okay. We're up. Now you find the two ends and you just loop them together and then you sew it. Alright, so now I'm gonna do this all the way up here, right? So basically, I don't have a whole lot of fabric left. So basically I'm just going to sew these ends together really closely, so let's do that right now. Alright. Stab it all through. Oh, it's difficult. Come on. Come on now. Come 
come on oh there we go and see I'm gonna do a little life hack here I'm gonna loop it around the little knob right here and then tie it as close as I can uh, so it as close as I can to the rest of the fabric come on now where's that thimble okay this oh it actually works All right. Basically, you're looping it around. Come on. Alright, there we go. So now, you have your perfect binding. And it's secured right to the hand guard. Alright, so then you step it back through here. Trying to make this part as strong as possible. Strong. Alright, so then once you got that, you should just be good just to tie it right here. Yep. That's about it, I think. I'll take a look about can Take another knot for security. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Then, yo, this is bloody epic. Look how that is. Oh, let's see. Look at it. It's amazing. Oh, I gotta probably fix that. Oh, yeah, we're basically done. Yo, best swords I've made in a while. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It's beautiful. Alright, see you next time. Thanks.